What's up guys, welcome back. When was the last time I saw you? I think the last time I saw you, oh, was when I introduced you guys to Odin, um, who's doing very good by the way. He's an adorable little man. Um, today I'm at my dad's. We actually have a trail ride today. So I'm here with the girls. Um, and this morning before our ride, um, I actually have a lesson coming to do a lesson on sugar. So I'm waiting for them right now. Uh, I have Grace over there in my trailer. She is gonna, I'm gonna pony her on our trail ride today. Um, she got her feet done yesterday, so I think she can handle being ponied along. Um, and she actually, she did pretty good. She did a lot better than I thought. There was one day I was gonna trim her myself because she was getting really long. So I just had her tied to the hitching post and oh my God, we went around and around and around and around because she would not hold her foot up for me. So I had to just call it quits and wait for a farrier. I'm gonna ride Sugar on our trail right today and pony her along. They're just eating a little grain right now while I wait for my lesson. Um, I won't film any of the lesson because I feel like that's weird, but um, this girl has come out for lessons a few times. So she's gonna be riding Sugar for the first time today. Normally she rides April, but since I'm not at that barn anymore, Sugar is what I have, so, so yeah. I guess I'll, I'll probably catch up with you guys after our lesson. All right, guys, we just finished up our lesson. Um, my lesson kid did really good on sugar. She trotted around the yard and everything. She even got a little bit of a canter in. <laughs> so that was cool. But um, I've got sugar and grace in the trailer, so we're going to head over to our trail ride. I'm hoping we have a good turnout today because it's really nice out. So... Sugar's gonna be mad at me, she has to work twice today, but. Are you deciding the whole trailer belongs to you? <laughs> Boy, Sugar's like shoved up there in the corner. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Shugs, bite her in the butt like you normally would. Oh, Good girl. Can I see? Good girl. I know, Grace. Good girl. Everyone take a shot. Oh, good job. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, 
огни. Hi guys, it's a few days later now, but I never um, jumped on to end this vlog or, or go over our trail ride. But um, I was really happy with how Grace did on her trail ride. Um, Sugar was pretty good ponying her. Um, those two, I don't know why, I think like ever since Grace has started to like get healthy again, she's got more personality to her and like whenever we're with Sugar or Sugar ponies her, she keeps trying to like nip Sugar or Sugar will just reach over and bite her. <laughs> so there was a couple times they got into a squealing match, but overall both did very well. Um, Grace kept wanting to lay down and roll in the soybean field because it was like nice and cushy and she kept wanting to stop and lay down and I had to like keep tugging at her to keep her from laying down. It was kind of funny. Um, but at the end of the ride, everybody, everybody took their horses out to lay down and roll. I think all the horses knew that it was a good spot. So everyone got a nice roll. She kept up pretty well. Um, there was a few times she started to like drag behind or like she kept dunking her head down to eat grass. So like my arm was so sore the next day. But um, yeah, she kept up pretty well. It's crazy how like she keeps up now. And like the first time me and Melanie took her out on a trail ride with us, she was so far behind, like at the end of my lead rope in the back the whole time because she was just weak like she was just weak um um i don't know how much i'm gonna mess with my horses today it's kind of gross outside like just dreary and not pretty so we'll see maybe if it's a nice day okay hopefully it's not too windy you guys can hear me but a lot of you guys have commented about grace's um her back pasterns how she looks really dropped in her um yeah in her hocks or in her pasterns and I can kind of see what you guys are talking about with this one how she's standing on it I wasn't sure if it was just because like her feet were real long um but yeah I guess I don't, I don't really know a lot about it I'll have to ask my vet I want to get her vetted anyway but if you guys have had experience with this, let me know, I guess, what your experience is, if it, you know, affects her rideability at all. And she doesn't have any, like, she never seems sore, has any issues with them. Um, even after, like, our trail ride, she, they weren't, I don't know, she didn't seem bothered by any means, so. Um, yeah, I guess let me know your guys' input on that. But this is our current setup. It's kind of a, a mess. <laughs> so I have, um, yeah, my little feed station here with a straw bale for bedding. Um, the horse has got a round bale. So here's another one. This is alfalfa mix. Um, obviously the outside doesn't look very good, but it's better on the inside. So they've kind of just been nibbling at it and they're not crazy about it, but um, got my little walk through door that I put in. And then, yeah, so I opened up all their stalls. I don't know if they'll go in there and eat the grass or not, but they look pretty good from the outside. Now that the goats are out of here, um, I can separate them to eat now, or at least just put Grace in to eat, because I had this covered with cattle panels so the goats couldn't just like go in and out and like mess with the chicken wire that I put up and whatever. So yeah, I can't wait to separate them because lately I've just been like tying up BB right here so that she can't go eat Grace's food because um, Grace gets a lot more green than she does. Humphrey girl, freaking huge head. God, I don't know if you guys can tell the size difference. Look at Grace's head compared to BB's. Look at that. Her freaking head is massive. <laughs> um, so my farrier came out the other day to do their feet and um, I was telling him kind of about Grace and whatever and how I don't think she's full gypsy, but like maybe half. And he was like, yeah, I wouldn't even say half. And so we were talking and he kind of noticed that like even, even all the half gypsies that he's done 
or like have gypsy in their bloodline have the feathering and she doesn't have the feathering basically at all. She's got some like um, fetlocky, I don't know, fluff. I think that's just kind of the drafty nature. But like, I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, do any of you guys have gypsy crosses or, or anything like that? I feel like if she's not a gypsy cross, maybe she's just like a spotted draft. I was looking up spotted draft horses the other day. So like maybe that's a contender. It's hard to tell like right now when she's not at her healthiest, like when she's completely rounded out and muscled, it might be easier to tell, but. Um, they're built me a feed shed. So I will have a shed hopefully next weekend to put all of this in. <laughs> so it's not just like, looks like a disaster out here. And then we can have a better parking spot for the round bales. I also have 10 bales of alfalfa coming for Grace as well. Baby doesn't really need it. She, I just gave her this today. It's Omeline 200. Um, she was, I was just giving her maintenance. Honestly, I'm probably a bad horse owner for doing this, but like, I kind of just give her whatever ripped bags we have at the store. And really, I know she should be on something regular. I will, if I put her on something regular, it'll probably be this Omeline 200. Um, that's basically mostly oat based um because she really she doesn't need a lot or really anything fancy but in the in like the dead of winter she starts to lose that muscle it's like she needs a little more protein in her diet other than that i'm just gonna do some more paddock cleanup today like some of the hanging branches in their paddock and stuff so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video um and let me know if you have any questions. I know some of you guys want me to get back into the like more routine and like horse horse videos, not the acreage videos. And I totally, I totally am gonna try to do that. So let me know what you guys wanna see down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.